So now I'm going to adjust through here and the neck at the same time. Okay, so I got the the edge of the joint. Okay, so we have Claire here today, and one of your biggest concerns today is TMJ, right? Yeah. So move in straight on, and as she opens her mouth, we'll, you'll probably hear it. And do it one more time. There are clicks. And so the clicking might be more on the left, but the, the pain, inflammation, and symptoms are more on the right. Um, dig your fingertips into where you feel it the most. Right in here. Okay. Yeah. And turn so we see which way she's pointing. Okay, so she's right at the tempor temporal mandibular joint, which is an actual name of a joint and also the name of the condition. It really should be called like TMJ syndrome or TMJ condition, but we've it's become so common in today's world that we just drop off the word condition, we just call it TMJ. But TMJ is just the initials of the joint itself, which is the temporal bone, the mandible. So it's the joint between the mandible, which is the lower part of the jaw that clacks up and down. And then the temporal bone, which is here, the temples, right? And um, so the articulation or the connection between the temporal bone and the hinging mandible, that hinge is where it can be misaligned. Um, did you have braces as a kid? Mm -hmm. So a lot of times I see, um, I hope every orthodontist doesn't text me and get angry at me, but the, there's success in that it straightens the teeth, but it also changes the tracking of the joint on some children. And then when they become adults, they're like, you know, it's so hard for me with my TMJ now, but they have straight teeth. So it's kind of a trade-off if you have, because they could have left the teeth crooked yeah. and the jaw perfect, or now this teeth are beautiful and the jaw doesn't hinge as optimally as it should. And then if you have stress or um, menstrual cycles or different things that can exacerbate stress and create unequal tension, the neck starts to go out and you get more and more symptoms with the TMJ, you'll have bad spells, right? Where mm -hmm. you go through a period that um, it feels worse. Now this, I'm gonna do a few different techniques, okay? okay? One of the techniques I'm gonna do is using an activator instrument and it's a tapping instrument and there's a special spot under here. I'm gonna do it to myself so you don't get scared. I'm gonna go under my jaw and I just adjusted the ligament. Sometimes we'll see a difference in the popping right away with that. I'm gonna do it on both sides. Okay. The reason I did it on me is so you, you trust me. Yeah. So I'm gonna first come under and you can come closer with the camera so you can see this. I have to reach up to get that ligament. And then let's do the other side and then we'll test. Let me come over here. Now try the jaw again. It's not as intense. I mean, the popping is still there, but that, yeah. That's, so it changed a little bit. It's not as, as tight. So we're gonna do one more round. Does one side feel worse than the other to you as far as popping? The popping yeah. feels worse over here. I hear the popping on the left. Yeah. Try it again. Still popping. Yeah. I'm gonna move this hair behind your ear. Is that okay? Yeah. Try it now. Still going. It's actually, it's popping over here now. Okay. Yeah. We're chasing it. We're chasing it. Um, in September, I did that on a horse. Oh. <laughs> I'm not, there's no comparison, <laughs> no, but I'm working with horses and dogs and I had the horse's head over my shoulder like this. And then I came across <laughs> and I went, and his jaw stopped popping much faster than yours. <laughs> You're more difficult. I'm a bit more stubborn. Yeah. Lie on your back, please. Yeah, there was no, I wasn't making fun of you. <laughs> no, it's fine. But it was it was definitely an interesting client. It was the it was actually a barrel racing horse. Oh wow! Yeah. So now I'm going to have you open your mouth, and I'm going to push on your jaw as you close it. Okay. Okay. Good. Now close it. Good. Open all the way. And close. Good. Open all the way. Open all the way. There it goes. Now close. There it goes. Open all the way. And close. Good, and one more time, open all the way, and close. 
Good. Come back to this side. Open all the way. Ow. There Ooh. it goes. Ooh. That's it. Yeah, so that one moved. Oh. So now going into the base of the neck. So now I'm going to adjust through here and the neck at the same time. Okay, so I got the the edge of the joint. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. It was pretty big, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. How's your child feel now? She's still popping. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I'm not going to charge you today. <laughs> I don't even want you to try because you're gonna say it's still popping. <laughs> Go ahead and try it. Mm -hmm. It's honestly like it's still popping, but the tension and the force that was behind it yeah. is not anywhere near what it was. Okay, that's earlier good. today. And you know, um, this is not always a quick fix. I can have someone to come in with what they call a crick in the neck. You know, they said, I woke up this morning, I have a little crick in the neck and we do one pop and they're like, oh my God, it feels better in one pop. But TMJ is something that really could have, the imbalances could have started potentially when you were a teenager with braces. They, yeah, it's been going on. And then, you know, throughout it. your life, through your twenties or whatever, you say, you know, oh my God, my, my jaw's acting up again. Um, and then you have good spells and bad spells. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do one more in here and then one more behind the jaw. Okay. Try one more time and we're gonna leave it alone. But it's it's less pressure. It's right? so much less pressure. Okay, good. So the next thing we're gonna do is have you slide closer to me. I'm gonna do a big one in the middle. But no, just stay flat on your back. I'm gonna reach under. Got it. Reaching under. Oh, those. Whew. those okay? Yeah. Those are big ones. Yeah. Line your side facing me, please. I'm gonna release a little of the lower back next. Let me have your hand, okay? Let this draw. Perfect. You can come to the other side. We have some sirens. This drop again. Got it. Whew. Come stand, see how you feel. We you release your neck pretty big. Release yeah. your shoulders, your lower back. How do you feel? Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to stop there. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you for coming in. Today. Yeah. Thank All you right, so thank much. You.